Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. And I thought I would do something a little different today. I went to the Dior counter the other day. They texted me that they had their new spring collection in, and I will put the pictures in here. And so I went out there to look at everything, and I was a good girl. I didn't get any of the eye quads or a lot of lip products because some of them were kind of like repeats. But I thought I did get a few things and I thought I would do like a one brand tutorial. Just this look with just Dior products. There was a few things that I had to throw in there that I didn't have, but most of it is Dior. I used both of the new Forever Skin Correct concealers. They're very, very nice. Matter of fact, when I swatched these, they just swatch like, hmm, they feel the the texture is a lot like shape tape where it's kind of like that velvety texture that doesn't really shear out you know you can shear it out but it stays like solid coverage and it's just i have them on right now and i just really like them so far so those are the two things that i bought and then i bought the rosy glow nail and then i bought one of their new lip oils and oh that's actually this was the Rosy Glow. This is the lip oil that I bought, and I have it on right now, and it has the cherry oil infused, number 12, and this is the Rosewood. So if you're interested in seeing this look, then keep on watching. So I thought we would use, just because this isn't something you see used in every tutorial, is the Air Flash. And looks like I have 301 and 501. And I remember getting 501 to use for like contour and bronzer. So, here is the dilemma. I washed and brought out my Tati Puff, and I washed and brought out my Beauty Blender, because I don't know which one I'm gonna like more. And then, did I not bring it out here? I had something else that I remembered I liked for this. Hold on. This, remember this brush? I still have all of these. This is the Oval 8, and this is a really good foundation brush. And I hate that things like, are at such a fast pace and sometimes we forget about you know older things but that is what's so good about doing like a one line only tutorial and it has made me kind of like dig up some older things that i really liked i think i'm gonna start off with just spraying it on my hand and it's so pretty and then let's use tati's puff and see Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Every time I watch somebody use this, they say that they save it for special occasions, and I hate that. Every day is a special occasion. But I know it's expensive. So that does look pretty good. Where's my mirror so I can see up close? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually spray it on the puff. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna kinda press it in just because my skin is kind of, um, it's actually pretty good right now. I've been using that new glycolic lotion, which is no joke. I can like feel it like stinging and working. Okay, I'm gonna show you how you can really spray it on your face too. Even the smell of this brings back good memories because I know it is one that I like. And I'm not gonna worry about getting like full, full, full coverage because I have those new concealers we're gonna try. So can you guys see how pretty that is? The sun is shining in here so bright, which I can't complain about. So I got 1.5 neutral for under my eyes and then I got two in neutral for around my face. And these are kind of like, you know, they have the same marketing that a lot of them do now where you can use them even as foundation. And they have an ingredient that it's wild pansy and it's supposed to be just like naturally 
um, emollient and keeping it from getting dry and just making it so perfect. So let's see, this is the 1.5 N. So we are going to, um, let's just dot it because it seems like I remember it really um, going a long way. And then we'll go from here. Okay, I think I'm gonna um, start off with just my finger like this before I go in with any puff. I noticed I really like the um, Tati's Blendiful with the concealer. I'd rather just use it to blend out the edges than to try to just go right in with it because you can like kind of pick up a little bit of that texture of the Blendiful. Okay, and now I'm gonna just kind of carry this down because I can see you can see how good the coverage is. And I'm gonna put some on my chin. And carry it out. Okay, looks like I put more on that side. Where did I just put it? Here it is. I wanna put like one dot right here. I feel like I need a little bit more over here. Very pretty, pretty color. And then I'm gonna take the blend of full and kind of blend that out, just the edges. Let's use the two in and I'll swatch them side by side too. Okay. So you can see the one and a half is just a little bit lighter and brighter than the two. The two is more of a true neutral. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna kinda do these places that I would like just maybe a little bit more coverage. That's a place right there. A matter of fact, that that, um, that overnight glycolic has really gotten a hold of. Yeah, I'm gonna use this and just see. Okay, it looks like this is still a little bit lighter than my foundation. That's okay. Okay, we got a good, I'm gonna go ahead and use this on my eyelids too. Bugs me that they look that bad. Not have a Dior loose powder. So I brought out my Too Faced Born This Way powder for my whole face. And then I have the Laura Mercier uh, Secret Brightening Powder that I'm gonna use under my eyes because this is really, I love this powder. So first thing I wanna do, and you should always do, is get out any creases that may have gotten there. And let's see, I'm gonna take the Blendiful, I'm gonna dip it in the powder, and then I'm gonna kinda of press it in my hand, and I'm gonna set under my eyes, and you can see how it is brightening. to decide whether to use this dark Dior for contour or not. Place them on my hand and see. Hmm. So that's the color. Let's grab some. I'm gonna use just the same part I've been using. What's wrong, Bridgie? Yeah. Is it very eventful? I don't think this is, I don't know. I don't think it's as great as I thought it was gonna be when I bought this.
You gotta go outside. Hold on. Into my nose. Okay, we'll just use this to kind of start off with, and I'll be right back. Okay. She did good. Okay, so now, um, so we do have a little bit of that, but this is one of my favorite, favorite products. Just so happened I was using this in my last video, and before I even knew that Dior was getting anything new, and I was thinking, I need to tell them about this. So I was really excited to bring this back out and tell you how much I love it. It's just such a good, just palette. Gosh, I washed these two and it's a little bit damp. I washed all my BK Beauty brushes, but they um, feel a little damp still. Okay, I'll use one of my favorite brushes. This is the Chanel Angled Brush. And I'm gonna start off first, you can tell this is the one I use the most, with this light contour shade. And let's just get a good cheek going there. Nothing too intense. I was gonna, told myself I was gonna do kind of a low key look today because I feel like I've been using a lot with every tutorial that I do. Okay, and remember you're gonna do this according to your face. So you may not need jawline contour. You may not need to, you know, go across your forehead. Okay, and then sometimes I do take a little, just a touch of that dark, just along the jawline. Like that. And then sometimes I'll take just a touch, just to bronze it up a little bit more. But that's after I have um, pretty much gotten everything else done. And then, all the colors are so pretty. I mean, you can use the other day, I think it was in my last Sunday video, I used that color, you know, to do my whole eye. And then that is the highlight color, but I need to use this, which is also a beautiful palette. And I hope this is still available. I know that one is, but I'm not sure about this one. And it is the Backstage Highlight Palette. And you can see for me to have used that much, it's pretty good. Cause usually I just kind of move on to something else, but I love this pink color. So I'm gonna kinda of go in the pink and the white and do highlight with the same brush on the tops of my cheeks. And you could just stop there. See how it gives you such a good glow? But in the new collection, they have a new Rosy Glow Blush. And that has always been one of my favorite blushes and it was upstairs in one of my blush drawers. And so it was so good to like get it and use it again. But the new one is a smaller one. I'm not sure why they did that, but it might be better for traveling or whatever. So I'm gonna put my same brush in the Rosy Glow. And this is kind of like a universal, you know, blush that's supposed to look good on everyone. And it used to be like one of my favorite things. So you can see how pretty it is. It just gives just a good rosy glow. You can also see how good this brush is. And this brush is natural hair fibers. So it picks up a little bit more than probably your, you know, synthetic hair, but I just love it. Okay, so is that enough? I think that's all I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go for a little bit lighter look today. Okay, so for brows, one of their, you know, star products is the, like, Universal Brow Styler, Universal Brown. So I'm gonna just do my brows like I normally would. This might be a little bit lighter. Matter of fact, let's go through and, you know what, let's use that setting mist that I have from Dior and then do my brows. I forgot I could have used this as a primer, but this is the Air Flash Radiance Mist Primer and Setting Spray, Long Lasting Airbrushed Radiance. And so let's see, <laughs> wish me luck. I love how it feels and I love how it smells. So that looks really pretty. So it's weird, it kind of like, I can tell it's really setting it because it feels like it wet it, but then it's like not wet feeling, it dries. 
and it does give you radiance for sure. So, gosh, I forgot how good that was. Okay, now let's take the swab and swab out my eyebrows. I always figure that helps. Okay, now let's take my mirror close up. And I'm gonna still come right off the top of that brow where I naturally have brow hair. And then just fill in a little bit up here and bring this out a little bit. It's not very dark, so I can do maybe a little bit more than I'm used to. And it does have a little spoolie at the end. Let's go ahead and do lips. A lip liner that I have from them that I really like is the uh, brown fig. And then when I was going through my stash, I found a fresh linen upstairs that I had bought and saved back when I knew it was gonna be discontinued. And right off the bat, I think this is gonna have less, it's gonna be, yeah, it just has, brown fig just has a little bit of a rosiness to it, but you can see it's pretty close. So if you did like the linen, I think you would like the brown fit. So let's use that. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like I did the other day and I showed you like the raw Christy Beauty was doing in her video where she overlines just at the top. Like that. Oh, I overline that side more. like that and then okay and these lip liners stay a long time too they're not like the MAC that really kind of blend in with your lipstick a whole lot, they do stay. So with this, we're gonna use this lip glow. It's the only one I got, but it says Cherry Oil Infused, number 12, and it's Rosewood. I wanted to get one that had some color. I thought it would look good just with the lip liner. So it has the good big doe foot. Okay, let's swatch it so you can see first. Um, let me put it right here. So it's not gonna have a lot of color. It's mainly just gonna blend into your lip liner. So you're gonna need to use a lip liner that has color or just use these you know, on their own for conditioner. So it's not gonna be anything that you use for the actual color, but I think we all know that. So we'll see how that does as it sits there. I'm gonna blot it. I put a lot on, I'm gonna blot it real quick. I did wanna show you too, this is that hologram blush that I love so much from Dior. There was just so many things I possibly could have used today, but I was, like I said, trying to go for a lighter look. This one I think has been my favorite palette ever. And I think Macy's still has this, so I'm gonna take a chance and use this. And I'm gonna use the Sonia G brushes, and I'm gonna start with this fluffy, kind of flat one here, the Worker Pro. And I'm gonna go into this first middle color. And I'm gonna do a look that I love, but hopefully I'm gonna do it. You know what? I wanna put a little bit of MAC Soft Ochre, because I just feel like everything looks better. I put a little bit of this on my eyelids. I'm going to go right in here into the crease and I'm not gonna go like in the crease, I'm gonna kinda go like right here above it, in the middle, then go in and then come out. And I'm gonna kinda just come out and buff it out here at the end. And kinda lift. Okay, same middle color. Gonna go in here, and then go in here, and then I kinda come out here and buff out almost towards the 
eyebrow like that and of course you can go back in and blend it but I just want the kind of bulk of the color to be right at the center okay and then I'm gonna take a little bit more of that and I'm gonna kind of go a little bit underneath and meet up with that I'm going to take that same brush and the same shadow and go on the upper lash line. Like that. Let's go into this more darky, plummy, burgundy type color. And let's go along that lash line too. And see how I'm kind of like pointing it down and pulling up so I can get right down at that lash line. I think it gives you a better line too. If you try to go like this, it gives you more of a straight line you have to blend out. But if you do it like this where you're pulling up, it just gives you a prettier shadow line. to make sure you get them pretty even. And then I'm gonna take this and kinda just bring it out a little bit, just to meet. I'll put that. And then you could wing it out just a little bit. trying so hard not to make this a, a heavy look, but it is so hard for me because that's just what I like. But I am gonna keep this darkest on the edge. I'm not gonna, cause really I want to pull it over, but for this, I'm just gonna keep it on the edge. Okay, now take a clean brush and kind of blend that out. Well, there went my light look. Now I'm gonna go in with the lightest color in the inner corner. And then this color down here, I'm gonna do just a little bit in here. Another one of my favorite Dior products is this Dior Show On Stage Liner, Waterproof Liquid Liner in Brown. The Benefit Roller Liner is another, it's probably my favorite brown one. This one is just as good, it's just it's more expensive than that one. So if you are, if you don't like the roller liner but you want a brown liner, then you might like this one. And I'm gonna go real close to my lash line, just kinda Press it like this. And then I'm going to just lay this down and pull it over just until here. I'm just going to try to do that outer portion of my eye. Another clean brush. I feel like this needs to be blended out a little bit more over here. Like that. And then you guys know one of my favorite mascaras is the Pump and Volume. And I haven't had one out, but I've got a backup that I'm gonna get out and use. This mascara is actually perfect for what we're gonna do because I thought today we would do something different and use some of these little Ardell Wispy Clusters. And so this is good because it gets the mascara, it's the pump and volume, so it puts a lot on the wand and it gets a lot right at the base of your lashes. So, and I don't, I don't curl my lashes, but they're not real straight. So you can see how good that is. It puts 
good mascara on right from the beginning, especially for this to have been a brand new tube. Gosh, I forgot how good this is. Perfect. Like that. And you can see I got a big glob of mascara there. I'm gonna try to be patient and let that dry so I can just pick it off because I don't want it to mess up my liner. Best way to do these clusters is to get, not to get ones that are too long. Like I got the ones that are short and medium. I just looked in the mirror and this is a, a kind of a light look for me. I do love it. I was thinking this may be good, this star glue because the dark star glue is black. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, I've seen people do it on their hand. Let's do it on my hand. This could be a disaster, but we're gonna try it. Okay, and then you hold your lashes up like this, and then you take your tweezers, and I'm gonna start with the, I'm gonna start with the medium, because I don't even know how far in I'm gonna go. Yep, and these come off really well, so they come off, and then you're just gonna touch them in your glue like that, let them dry a little bit, and put them right down at the lash line. And the good thing about these is you don't have to have mascara on because you can put them right down, you know, in the lash line. And this is another big tip, if you're like me and you have a hard time doing your left eye as good as your right eye, do go back and forth, back and forth, because sometimes I can just really get them good, but then I can't get this side as good. So that way I know when to stop. And then I'm going to put it right down here at the end. And you'll feel it stick. Perfect. It's exactly what I want to see how it just gives you just a little bit more of an accent and you can wait until they dry and then put mascara on them but that's not really the point of that I'm trying to do here did I bring my yep I love this little Ardell tool so I'm going to use this and make sure they're pushed down and then you can take this and really join them with your lashes. Okay, the only thing that I can see that I feel like I need is a little bit of shine control. I have all these powders, but I don't think any of them, they're like bronzers. I don't think any of them are, yeah, that's a highlighter. Okay, let me go get my, you know what I have out here? I actually bought the Charlotte Tilbury number no. one pressed powder to see. I always use number two, but I thought, let's use, let's try number one and see if it's brightening. So that is number one. Let's, let's try it. Okay, I'm just gonna grab this Sedona Lace brush. Okay, I cannot see. I can, in my little viewfinder, it's like I can see that I'm there, but I can't really see what my makeup looks like to you guys. But to me, it looks really pretty and it does look, you know what, I need to get that um, mascara off now. That it's dried, hopefully. It'll, yep, it just will pick right off. Oh, I'm proud of myself for waiting on that. Okay, so what do you guys think? That is a full Dior look as much as possible. I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day and then let you go. So today I'm going with something totally different. I don't think I have on anything black except for the black that's in this jacket, but it's cold outside today. So I knew I was gonna be able to wear a faux fur. And Brooke and I went to Target the other day, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the other things that I got too. But, um, she had seen this shirt and so she said mama this shirt made me think about you and so i went ahead and picked it up it's 
um, shopping is my cardio, Sex in the City. So I threw on some of my favorite jeans, which are the Leah Citizens of Humanity. And then going with the Carrie Sex in the City style, I'm just gonna wear my leopard faux fur. The shoes that I have on are some of my favorite, favorite shoes. I just love looking at these shoes. And they're Michael Kors, and I just saw them, uh, it was within the year, maybe about six months ago, and I was just thinking, oh, all of you need to have these, but they're just these pretty little silver, um, I don't know, they've got an ankle strap, and then they've got the back, you know, kind of caged in maybe, and the toe of them is so pretty. I just think they are the prettiest shoes, and they're very, very comfortable to be a heel. While I'm standing, I'll go ahead and show you these few things. I grabbed this t-shirt, my dog is my Valentine, and I, not only do I like what it says, but I just liked the color combination. I thought this would look really good underneath like a moto or, you know, faux fur jackets too. It just has that good color combination. And then I wanted to get more of these like high cut in tanks and I wanted to get another black one, another white one, and then there was another color, like a dark nude I wanted, but they didn't have my size. So I just grabbed this one, which is this rosy mauve color. I love these and they were, when you bought two, you got them for $8 and Brooke got like an army green one. And Brooke got this beach bag that I wanted to show you. Oh, she's got her stuff in there too. Okay, so there's the green tank and then this t-shirt she got. She loves the office, so she got the Michael Scott t-shirt. But this little beach bag, it is so nice. The straps are like real soft. They're like that neoprene. And then at the bottom is a cooler to go to the beach. And she said that it came in pink too. She, I was off somewhere else and she brought this back to the cart, of course, and um, but I wanted to show you because I just thought that was so cool, and it was uh, $24.99. And for accessories today, I just put on some studs, great big studs. I think these are, they're not, they're not the Kate Spade, but I think the Kate Spade are probably prettier and easier to wear. I think these are Betsy Johnson, but I love them. And I've got on one of the rings that my parents gave me, and then another ring, I can't remember her name. I think it's Kent, Celine Kent. And then my same necklace that I never take off, which is turned around here. This is the other thing that I got from Dior. Uh, if you spent X amount, I think it was 150, you got this, this nice little clutch bag. It's red and pink. And I wanted this because I thought this would be so perfect just, you know, as a little, you could use it as a cosmetic bag or a little summer bag to put your phone and just a lipstick and stuff in. So I wanted to get that and I didn't see anything else I wanted. So I ended up getting the Rosy Glow, Nail Glow for your nails. And she said this was like one of their best sellers. And here it is. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again on Friday. Bye-bye.